In this video, I will demonstrate how to put a TI Inspire calculator into press to test mode with the settings required for the International Baccalaureate exams. First, you need a non cas TI Inspire with the most current operating system. As of early April 2015, that is version 4.0 for the Color CX model and version 3.6 for the earlier Grayscale calculator. The basic procedure for entering press to test mode is to begin with the calculator powered off and hold down the escape key while pressing the on key. Hold the escape key down until you see the screen light up. On the resulting press to test setup screen, you may choose whichever angle mode you want and students can change this during the testing with no difficulty. My personal preference is to start them out in radians. There are four of the restrictions which IB will allow students to use, and those must be unchecked before you continue. Those four are disable inequality graphing, limit trigonometric functions, disable the log base B template and summation functions, and disable polynomial root finder and the simultaneous equation solver. The list can be found on the OCC, the Online Curriculum Center, on the math subject pages in the assessment section. The document explaining the calculator policy is updated every year. Be sure you are looking at the current one. Disable inequality graphing. Click. Limit trigonometric functions. Click. Disable the logarithm template. Click. Disable the polynomial root finder. Click. After that, you will enter press to test mode by clicking the enter button here. And that's it. If you need to do this for multiple calculators, you can transfer the press to test mode from one to the next much more quickly than you can go through that process. You'll need a second calculator and a link cable. These ship with the calculators when you buy them, but any USB mini A to mini B cable should work just fine. While this one's restarting, I'll hook them together. There's a port on the top on the right hand side. Do that for both calculators. You can see on the first one the blinking indicates that it has been put in press to test. When a calculator is in press to test mode and it comes on, you'll see that it tells you that you're currently in press to test and lists the things that have been locked down which you can scroll through and see that there's the ones that we turned off. But there's also a setting here for transfer press to test. Turn the second calculator on and choose transfer press to test. Enter. Transfer complete. That's all it takes to send this to another calculator. You can easily do a class set of these in just a few minutes. And that's all there is to it. Thanks.